President Barack Obama is crossing the country on Thursday, returning to the campaign trail after overseeing the response to Hurricane Sandy, which devastated vast swaths of the U.S. East Coast and killed more than 74 people. With five days until the presidential election, Mr. Obama will hold rallies in the swing states of Wisconsin, Nevada and Colorado, while former President Bill Clinton will stomp for him in Wisconsin and Ohio. Mitt Romney, the Republican contender for the presidency, will head to Virginia before heading to Wisconsin himself on Friday. Analysts say that renewed focus on Wisconsin thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Show that the Republicans are preparing to lose Ohio, the crucial state that no Republican candidate has ever won the presidency without. Polls continue to show that two men are running neck and neck as early voting continues ahead of the November 6 poll. Polls for NBC News and The Wall Street Journal, carried out by the Marist Polling Company, showed that Mr. Romney was within striking distance of Mr. Obama in Wisconsin and New Hampshire, where the president's lead has shrunk to three points and two points respectively. However, Mr. Obama has a large advantage in under what, with thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A six-point lead among likely voters, according to the poll. At a national level, the two men are tied, with 47.4% support each, according to the Real Clear Politics aggregate of polls. The president suspended campaigning for three days this week to manage the federal response to the hurricane, and was joined on Wednesday by Chris Christie, Republican governor of the severely hit state of New Jersey, who had previously been a fierce critic of the president. Mr. Christie's praise of Mr. Obama for his help in handling the fallout of the storm has raised thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Eyebrows, as it could be seen as elevating the president's stature. But the New Jersey governor will be relying heavily on federal funds to help pay for a cleanup and rebuilding program costing billions of dollars. Mr. Romney ostensibly suspended campaigning too but came in for criticism on Tuesday for turning a storm relief event in the crucial state of Ohio into a traditional campaign rally. He returned to the trail on Thursday to visit Florida. However, his campaigning was restrained in the face of the disaster, to compete with hours of television footage streaming into U.S. homes. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Of Mr. Obama cheering the ravaged coastline of New Jersey with Mr. Christie, Mr. Romney focused his speeches on the economy rather than any personal criticism of Mr. Obama. The challenger also faced awkward questions over his promise during the Republican primaries to hand responsibility for disasters to the states, while privatizing some of the functions. A spokeswoman for Mr. Romney said on Wednesday that the candidate believed the Federal Emergency Management Agency had a key role in working with states and localities to respond to natural disasters and promised the body would be properly funded. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. On Thursday, New York City took an important step closer to resuming the sense of normality with some subway lines restarting. Bloomberg reported that some trains began operating from Penn Station just after 6 a.m. Markets reopened on Wednesday, but with lower Manhattan still deprived of electricity, traders struggled to get back to business.